Hello and welcome back to friends, it's me, Odo. I'm back in my campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. I was just redoing the speech with Hulrun and Ramian. And we are just at the same point when this when this was over, when we attacked um, Hulrun. I'm not sure if we are able to to stop him. They are just three people, but yeah, they are really strong. It's really hard to hit them. They have a really high AC. Um, I just pushed my pig a bit and I healed all of my group. Uh, so we will try it and hopefully we won't do Um, anything. Yeah. Probably should have done something else. Let's do this. The pig. Ah, yes. In person on Sila. And you are doing the grease on them. Good. Need a free to hit him. Pooh. That's terrible. Okay. Um so doom. No ah. Uh. Yeah, whatever. Let's do it just him. Really? Thank you for lying down. Okay. She has a 13 chance to hit him. 17 to hit him. Hmm. Let's see. What do you have to hit? An uh, 18. It's not good. Camellia. Do the lower AC. Let's try this again. Ready? Ugh. You roll the three and you have a plus nine. Okay, you probably shouldn't do these then. 
You're still knocked out. That's good. Let's see. Oh, hit him. First, first blood. He's a level 13 Inquisitor. <laughs> you should have looked at that before. And he has a damage reduction of 2. Okay, we won't, we won't, um, we won't be able to win against him. I'm pretty sure about that. Okay, let's see. Potion of haste. Ah, this was for all of us. That's nice. And not even one hit. <laughs> I mean, okay, I know it is hard to hit him, but... Ugh. Not one... Not one roll over 15. Oh, thank you. And that was my dear. Come on, not even one hit. You just had to wrong You just had to roll a thirteen in your two times. <laughs> Yay! Oh, great! Greece is so great. Amber should do something else. That's good. He's on the floor. Ah! We shouldn't do the ranged attacks on him. If he's on the floor, he's... Let's try this way. Hit him. Cut you wide open. Really? He attacked the pig. Okay, Amber, you should do something else. Like, um... Hmm... Ray of Sickening. Let's try this one. Okay, we didn't hit. Bad. Ah! No! Nearly done. Nearly done. Come on, Philomucus. Did you ever hit him? <laughs> Yay, another hit. Oh, 
He killed the dog. He killed the boar. No. Bad, bad full run. Ah, I should have done something else. Ah, that's nice. Come on. Ah! Oh, there can't be too much hit points left. Hmm. Ah! Oh, you're so great. We are so great. We killed Hulrun. The spirits demand your blood. Mm -hmm. Surrender or else. Or else what? You don't hit. Okay. Yay, we hit it. Okay, uh, Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you can hit at him. Doesn't matter if you don't hit him. had a uh, magic good animal home run has added my art and okay um my dear boar, you are really nearly dead. So let's go back to the Let's just go back. Hard fight. Um, no. Yeah, let's let's take everything with us. Amber, a strange child of war, a witch who was burned at the stake and yet survived. A god saint, ready to preach love and kindness to people and demons both. A homeless orphan who has no hope, but who gives it countless people around her. Yeah, she's she's a she's a let's go to the not and sleep there. Random encounter, there is someone on the street. Oh god. That's not good. That's truly not good. Well, at least we had an auto save. Huh. 
come here? Where else would I be? Mm-hmm. No! Come back. Watch On the other know. hand... You could scout. Ninjo. Okay. Sounds interesting. Wearing a robe? Check. Baphomet symbol around the neck? Check. Crazy eyes? Check. Note to self. Bring a mirror next time to be able to adjust the optimal level of eye craziness. Everything is ready for the experiment. Okay. She seems nice. An audience. Problematic, but not critical. You there, boy. Stay out of this. It is counterproductive to stand in the way of scientific progress. Who are you? What are you doing here? Who's that? I don't know her. Okay. Greetings, boys and girls. I am your sister in sin, a devotee of Lord Baphomet's dark will, and so on and so forth. Okay, this will be interesting. She looks like one of us, but she talks kind of weird. Who's there with you? Who? Oh, them! Just an audience, they don't matter. Consider them a supplementary component of the coming experiment. Uh. Okay, shrug In remaining the name of silent. Our Lord Baphomet, please be so kind as to undertake a little test of your competency in our wicked cause. Let's start with something simple. So here's my first question. What is Lord Baphomet's favorite weapon? We will not answer to you. Our Lord can wield any kind of weapon. He is all powerful. Yes. Wrong. He wields no weapons at all. He doesn't need any. He just gores his enemies with his horns. No religion check passed. Actually, it's Isogol, a glaive made of red adamant time. That is correct. But still, boy, no prompting, please. This experiment has taken quite a surprising turn. I would never have expected the followers of the great Baphomet to be baffled by such a simple question. Fine. Let's recalibrate the difficulty and proceed with the next question. Please name Lord Baphomet's sacred animal. A bull! Of course everybody knows that. Does that? Yep. And a cow. Baphomet's sacred animal is Baphomet itself. None of your answers were correct. The correct answer is an Aurochs. Really? So I didn't uh, take, get the... Um, Religion check. Since the experiment has yielded results which are as unexpected as they are incredible, Baphomet's cultists have not the slightest idea about who Baphomet really is, let alone any in-depth knowledge of his ideology or philosophy. I'm positive that this news will cause a sensation in widest scientific circles. Damn it! She's right. I'm a shitty excuse for a cultist. And my mother used to tell me to become a plowman. Mm-hmm. Hey, take it easy! We've only had two questions. You there, come on, ask another one. We'll, we'll get the next one. Is there any sense in continuing? You cannot answer the simplest of questions. I am ashamed of all of you, as cultists and as individuals. Please, ask again. I can answer, I'm sure I can. <laughs> Stupid. How do you spell Baphomet's name? Ah, oh, this will be B A F A. Oh, screw it! To hell with Baphomet! I thought it was gonna be fun, but instead there are all these questions. I'm done here. I'm going back to my home village, back to my mother. Hey, wait! You there! How dare you stir up discord in our ranks? Grab her and tie her up and her entire entourage too! The experiment is complete. 
unable to deal with the questions, the cultists decide to deal with the examiner instead. A typical reaction for a person who has never been burdened with any intelligence. Now you're gonna start hitting each other, aren't you? Please, proceed. I won't interrupt. Really? She brought us into this situation and then she won't interrupt? Ah, oh, That's terrible. And uh, we're we're nearly dead. <laughs> Let's put an evil eye on yeah no, no, on, on this one. No. Archer. Coldest. We should put so this is a level 4 character, level 4 fighter, level 2, level 2, and level 2. So one of these two, an archer or a cleric. Uh, let's put it on. No, what did I do? You should... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Good. Pig. Kill. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Cause fear. Okay, um... Oh, come on. You try to hit the pig? Really? You don't have anything left in you. Pig, you are so not um, not doing your job. <laughs> See, that's how it's done. This will hurt. You won't survive me. And she missed it. That's okay. And he missed me. The light take you. Okay. Yes, so good. A calculated risk. Yep. 
Okay. The absence of an answer is an answer too. Uh, I hope I don't have to fight him. Nah. The result is statistically predictable, especially considering their intelligence level. Okay. What about you, boy? Are you ready to answer some questions for the good of science? Let's proceed with the experiment. <laughs> My first question is simple. Which colors does the goddess Iomade prefer? Succeeded at law, at law, religion check. You're absolutely convinced that the correct answer is red and white. Who are you? What's this all about? Yeah, let's 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 do this. Red and white. This answer is correct. It is comforting to meet at least one educated person in the melting pot of ignorance that is Canabras today. Let's okay. Proceed. Did Aradin take part in any crusade before he died? Aradin was the immortal Estante and raised the star stem from bottom. Whoever. Yeah, we succeeded in the law religion check. You know for sure that Aradin died not long before the world wound opened and began. Wait, what? Did Aradon take part in any crusade before he died? No, he didn't. Your answer is correct. Aradon's death dates to 4606, and that is precisely the year when the world wound was opened. The first crusade started back in 4622. Okay. Your knowledge would make Mendev's crusaders proud. My final question is, what is the title that Arilu Vorlesh bears? Is she the architect of the world wound, the lord of the labyrinth, or the border acquisitor of the shapeless abyss? Uh, okay. You don't know the answer, but you thank the god you're lucky enough to have only three options to choose from. Nothing of these three is right. I'm pretty sure about that. I am the one asking questions here. Answer them, and then I'll satisfy your curiosity. Well, that's your right. <sighs> the experiment has come to a standstill due to the subject's refusal to cooperate. It seems to me that I owe you an explanation. My name is Nenio. I am an explorer. <laughs> A pilgrim, a yet to be recognized scientific luminary, future author of the great Encyclopedia Galarianica, and rector of all Absalom's universities at once. Future okay. rector, I should say. I also <laughs> know several spells. You also know several spells, that's nice. How can you finally tell me what you were getting at those questions? Why do you keep calling me boy? I have a name, you know. Nabris isn't safe right now. Shall we join for Now, can you tell me what you work at? It is so heartening to see you strive for knowledge. I have been conducting an experiment comparing the intellectual abilities of the average cultist with those of the average crusader. Okay, that's not good. Unfortunately, the experiment has proven that the opposing parties possess approximately equal faculties in this regard. A shame, indeed, for I have always claimed that despite the popular beliefs about the limited intellectual abilities of those in the army, at least some of them can be considered educated. It appears I was mistaken. <laughs> so you're trying to say that I'm mediocre? Don't you call me stupid. Unable to deal with the questions, the crusader decides to deal with the examiner instead. A typical reaction for a person who has never been burdened with any intelligence. <laughs> so you're trying to say that I'm mediocre. Yes. Why do you keep calling me? I apologize for an injury to your ego. But your name is irrelevant on the grand scale of the universe. Yeah. Thus, it cannot possibly interest me. I will forget it as soon as I hear it. Okay, I want to play her. I'd prefer to not know it at all. 
Do you wish to become my follower? To accompany me on my expeditions to the World Wound? To assist me in my experiments? To run errands for me? Perhaps even to write down my deepest thoughts for the benefit of future generations? Yep. Oh, how splendid! Of course, I agree! Truth be told, I have no money to pay you. But you will be aiding the progress of science, and that is its own reward. Yeah, well, I... Excellent. You're hired. To think that I finally found someone to accompany me. 27 Crusaders before you said no. Not one of them saw the undeniable appeal of my offer. Yeah, well, I'm not a Crusader. Your first assignment is to take me to a safe place. I have to admit that today's experiment has left me quite tired. <sighs> okay. What can you do? What can you tell me about yourself? You are Nenu, a scroll servant. Some wizards consider scrolls a natural extension of their magical ability. So, okay. what does a scroll servant Abilities. Blinding ray. Hmm. Spell like ability. Sounds nice. Well, at least now we have a wizard. Spell penetration. Yay. And spell focus illusion. Yay. I like her even more. She's an illusionist. <laughs> the only kind of wizard that I can accept. <laughs> okay. Uh, specialist school illusion. Capture. And necromancy. Yeah, well, we can live with that. What does a scroll seven do in comparison to a normal wizard? Scroll, scroll 7 adds half his class level, minimum 1, as a bonus on use magic device checks. He will always take 10 on use magic device checks to cast a spell from a scroll if 10 on roll is enough for a successful skill check. That's fine. You're hired. Let's move out of this area. This was good. Um, this was a good uh, random encounter. And that's it. We need some, we need some sleep. Before we can continue. Let's see, I'll have to take the pig with me. And we're slow because we yeah we are overburdened. Oof. So let's see. There is this guy. Let's sell all the stuff.
Can I? Yeah, I will do this um, later on um, in between episodes. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope we'll see each other again soon. See you. Bye.